Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about copying files from a local directory to another local directory using rsync. And in this video, I want to expand upon that and copy files from a local directory to a remote directory on another computer. So I have a remote screen set up here, if I can find it. There we go. Um, I have a remote screen set up here. So this is another Mac on my network. And to, in order to set up rsync, you want to go to sharing, and then make sure you have remote login enabled. And you'll want to know the username. So here it'll say to log in remotely, it says type ssh uh, ricksite at mbp.ricksite.net. That may or may not work for you. Um, you want to take note of the username, so it's ricksite. Um, you can also use the IP address. So if you click up here on your system preferences, and then click on network, here, um, you'll see the IP address. So if I get back on my local machine, I can type ssh space ricksite at 192.168.7.170. If I hit enter, it will ask about the authenticity. I'll type yes, and then it wants my password, so I'll type that in. And now I'm on the remote machine. So you'll want to do this first to try it out. If this doesn't work, you're not gonna be able to get rsync running. So. Now that I have this working, I can exit out of here and we'll minimize this. And I'm just gonna use the same example as I did before. So I'll put a link in the description of my previous rsync video too. Um, and I'll put a link um, to my website for show notes so you don't have to copy what I'm typing off the screen. You can actually go look at it on there. So to get started, let's clear the screen. I'll type rsync space dash n, and this does a dry run, so this will not copy anything until I'm ready to copy. Then I'll type A, which is the archive mode, V for verbose, and then I'll type U, and that's for skip files that are newer on the receiver, and then I'll type Z. And Z uh, does compression. Z was very good if you're copying over the internet. I'm copying over my local LAN. It's not as important. It is also more effective if you're copying things that are compressible. I'm copying images, but if you're copying like text files and things like that, Z would be a lot more useful. And you'll see um, you know, greater compression with that. So I have all this typed in. And I'll type space, dash, dash, delete. And I'll type space, and I'll type tilde, forward slash, and then documents, forward slash, and then ephoto, underscore doc. And then I will actually, I'll take off this forward slash here and then I'll type in the remote location. So I'll type ricksite at 192.168.7.170 and then colon tilde forward slash desktop forward slash. And then I'll hit enter. And it'll ask for my password and it will do a dry run. So this will show everything that's going to be transferred. So now I'll push the up arrow. I'll hit control A to go to the beginning of that line and I'll take the N off. And actually, I'll go to the beginning line again. I'll type time so we can see how long this takes. And then I'll hit enter. It'll ask me for my password again. And now it's copying the files over. If I go back to the other computer, I'll close this here, you'll see on the desktop we have the ephoto directory. And inside of this, it's copying all the files over. Okay, and as before, so it looks like we're 50 seconds in. As before, I hit control C. So this, uh, would be like if your internet went down or your network went down. So I can run the command again and it will take, it will start off from where it left off. Okay, so that's finished. So it says it took uh, three minutes and four seconds. Plus there was another, I think 50 seconds before. So it was about four minutes to transfer and it was about 3.8 gigabytes, I think is what we had. So if we look on the other machine here, I'll right click on this folder and say get info. And this says four gigabytes, so it's about four gigabytes there. So this can go both ways. So on my current machine I'm on, I'll type who am I. I'll see my username is Rick. Then I'll type IP config, or no, if config. <laughs> and then I'll look for my IP address. And that's uh, 174. So I'll go on the remote machine now, and I'll type rsync space dash av 
let's get the exact same command here. Um, AV UZ space dash dash delete space and I'm going to run the same thing I ran here on the remote machine. So I want the source first. So the source is this machine. So I'll type rick at 192.168.7.174 colon and then tilde documents forward slash and then I want the ephoto. Let me make sure I type that right. I want the ephoto doc. Okay. And then I want to do space and then I'll to say tilde forward slash desktop. And since I'm running this for the first time, I'll type dash n to do a dry run. And when I run this, it shouldn't transfer anything because we just did a transfer. Okay, and it didn't transfer anything, which is expected. So now I'll copy a folder over or a file over here. And if I run it here on the remote system, you'll see it copied that file over. And if I delete this file, run it again, it removed that file. So if you're running rsync, um, so if you're transferring files over rsync over a network, you can either push the files to the remote server or you can pull them from the uh, source server that you can do it either way. So this can be kind of confusing. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And if there's anything else about rsync you want me to cover, let me know and I can maybe make a video on it. So yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.